Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, or Niramas as I call myself as well. And I'm here today with Draco. Christmas Draco is, <laughs> of course, he, I, he's just so happy about his Christmas Santa suit. Yeah, he loves that. So we'll just let him have it for at least until New Year's Eve. Because now it is, what is it, 27th of uh, December as I'm recording this. And I was meaning to do this um, news and update video earlier on in December but this there's been a lot of different things uh, coming in the way of that so as usual I will talk a bit about the games that were filmed the games that I played and what's coming in the future and also let's first of all mention that I am so happy about this year I also want to talk a bit about 2018 it's been a great year for me and for the channel I had so much fun both in this with the recording getting the getting the studio ready, uh, upgrading equipment. I had a Kickstarter that went really well. Uh, that made it so that we could go to uh, Germany to Essen Spiel, which was awesome as well. Uh, we've also been to a bunch of Swedish conventions in all over Sweden. Basically, I think it's like eight or different conventions we've been to of diff different sizes and so on and, and different lengths and all that. And we also had the DracoCon as well, two of those DracoCons in, in Trollhetta in near where I live. A um, bunch of new uh, uh, subscribers, bunch of views and all that and people are uh, contacting me and you know if you have any questions or any you know if you have anything to say about the channel or if you want to ask me something just send me a message. I mean on Twitter or Facebook or on YouTube as well I think you can send those well not messages but you can do the comments um, and so on so because I'm, I'm just so happy when I check my computer or board game geek for that matter you can send me a message on board game geek it's near a mass of course there as well uh, and on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram it is um, at BGW near a mass, as you can see here um, so just yeah don't hesitate to to uh, contact me if you have any ideas for the channel maybe something you want to see maybe some new form of videos or, or something like that just Throw it all at me and I'll try to do uh, as best as I can. So I'm going to talk a bit to start off with about the videos that were filmed since I last did this in November. And it hasn't been that many to be honest. There's been a bunch of unboxings. Uh, but as I look through it and I get ready for this video I was a bit surprised myself that there weren't more. But then again I've been, uh, I was one week that I was sick there before Christmas and yeah. So anyhow, we did do Carcassonne Safari, run through me and Draco, and that was really fun. I like Carcassonne, the base game, and this was a twist on that, basically. Um, a fresh take on the Carcassonne formula. So I, I can recommend that, I thought it was fun. And then we did Caverna, the Forgotten Folk run through. So that was really nice, really like that. And I, I love these different, like Draco was playing the trolls and, and his guys, they were not that smart, they had a small brain. Um, yeah, but then again, they did have a big uh, backpack because they had, as the rulebook said, they had a traveler for supper one day, and they saw thought saw that he had something weird on his back, and they, yeah, they figured out that he could put stuff in it. Yeah, really fun rulebook, <laughs> really dark though in theme. There was so much, uh, like they also do bone crushing, so they can sort of, and the rulebook actually says, how, you know, in detail that. Yeah, they can crush the bones of the animals at the farm so they can suck out the nutrients. Really uh, nasty stuff, but <laughs> anyhow, really fun and really I really love that. I'm going to play that a lot more, the Forgotten Folk for Caverna. Uh, then I played uh, and filmed Coimbra, which is, was really nice. This was my most anticipated game from Essence Spiel, and I thought it was really fun. Really fun game. Uh, I like that one. And then, of course, there's been a bunch of Keyforge videos. That's also one of the reasons why there hasn't been that many different games because I've done, th I think I've done three playthroughs with Draco for Keyforge, and then I did, I think, three in total, three live playthroughs together with friends uh, or against friends in Keyforge. Really love that game, so much fun. I, I didn't expect to like it that much, but I did. Um, top 100 has been going on and it's ended just a few days ago with the top 10 where we sat down with with Andreas and Mats in the studio I had really fun recording that and I, I thought it yeah it was really good stuff check that out if you haven't uh, a lot of game recommendations there 
And then of course top 10 2018 uh, that video came out just uh, two days ago um, I did a playthrough a live playthrough of um, Pandemic fall of Rome the new pandemic game. So that's on the channel as well uh, What else is there? Well, we actually played go as well the old classic 2000 plus years old uh, board game of go uh, Where you put these stones and yeah Abstract game, not at all my type of game, but I had really fun learning it. And me and Draco learned it in Draco Learns Game Go, where Ola, my friend, came over and, and uh, taught it to us and to the viewers as well. So check that out as well. And I, I must say as well, there's a bunch of games still on my shelves. I think there's like uh, over 30 games that I haven't unboxed yet and haven't uh, uh, you know played yet from Essen. So a lot of stuff to come, of course. But yeah, I played uh, well, Keyforge, obviously Go. Uh, I played Gumption Clever, which was really fun, uh, really cool little uh, roll and write. And then I played Newton, which was a nice Euro game as well. Really liked that one, where you sort of... I really liked how the, the mechanisms of the game, where you have these cards on hand, and that's the actions you do, and you have to plan out the actions. And then at the end of each round, you have to bury one of those cards, sort of. Well, it, it gives you new... Uh, it, it makes you better at that certain action, but that also means that you can't activate that action next round so you need to get new cards really nice stuff uh, Newton I do want to play that one soon again then I also played Istanbul the dice game uh, which I liked more than Istanbul this was like 15 20 minutes dice game a lot of luck, luck of course involved because you're just rolling dice and you're trying to get the but there's some strategy as well you can get like you can you can affect the dice uh, like in most dice games you can do things to change the dice and so yeah, really fun stuff, really quick little fun filler there. Uh, really looks nice as well with all these like diamonds or whatever, rubies. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna talk shortly about what's happening in January. Uh, obviously there's going to continue all these uh, Essen games coming in unboxings and run-throughs and playthroughs and I'm gonna catch up with those that you've seen unboxings of, those are gonna come as playthroughs and run-throughs as well. But also something new is I'm going to do a bunch of live uh, Instead of recording, I'm going to do a lot of live uh, live streams up ahead. So, I mean, next week and so on, I'm going to do I pretty much do as many live streams as I can. Both because I want to catch up on all these games that I want to show you and all that. And it's much easier and it's much faster to do them in live streams. But mostly because it's so much fun. I love the live streams because then I have the chat on the computer and I can communicate with you guys directly. I really like that. It's so much fun. Um, and I get so much good input from you and, and you know when I play a game like I played Pandemic, um, the Fall of Rome, then I made a mistake. Well someone told me in the chat I could correct that right away instead of uh, discovering that after I already recorded a whole uh, playthrough and so on. So there's, there's many benefits to doing live streams and I'm going to try as well to get uh, the quality up by using a better camera and all that for the for the live streams, I can't use the camera I'm using right now for the live stream, sadly. I haven't figured out how to do that at least. But I'm going to get a better, you know, webcam basically and so on. Oh, and I also want to jump in here and say that you should go check out Meeple Design. Uh, I put the link down here in the description. They make this really nice uh, board game themed clothing. And they were nice enough to send me this one and another t-shirt as well that I used uh, the other day when I did the top. Uh, 10 expansions of 2018 so you can check that out as well if you haven't really nice fun uh, motives and yeah if you use the code NIRAMAS2018 uh, for the rest of the January or the, through the end of January you will get a 10% discount if you order two items at once so we'll check them out really nice guys as well and let's get back to the uh, normal ramble um, some videos I want to mention that are coming up are Top 10 for each house in Keyforge. I'm gonna do top 10 Brobnar, top 10 Logos, top 10 Sanctum and all those seven houses. So that's seven videos and also top seven houses as well to end that. So it's gonna be eight videos about Keyforge coming up. Uh, really look forward to those. I've been working on that these, during Christmas here. I've been spending some time at the computer trying to sort out the cards and what cards do I wanna bring in there in the top 10 and so on. Really hard to choose to be honest. Um, yeah, but that's that's fun. I'm also going to do the top five uh, Corporations for terraforming Mars. I'm going to update that because the one that I did like one and a half years ago That one is just for the base game and since then there's like 50 new corporations coming out had have been coming out. So 
I'm going to do a new top five corporations for Terraform Wars. I'm also going to do top five pre uh, prelude cards and top five uh, colonies. So my favorite colonies, my favorite prelude cards, and my favorite corporations for the whole thing now. So new Terraformer Mars videos coming up in that way. Also going to continue, of course, and do the two last uh, solo playthroughs for Terraformer Mars with colonies, well, with everything, basically. And finally, one more thing, Terraformer Mars co-op is coming out as well. I'm, I designed my own co-op mode, <laughs> basically, it's for two players. You play like two, you play two maps, you play two solos, basically, but you can help each other out. You have an open draft and so on. So I'm going to show you how that works uh, together with Draco soon as well. So all that is coming in January, um, more or less. I mean, I might not make all these key for videos in just one month, but... I'm going to start doing it at least, and I hope that you will check all that out. And I hope that we will have a great 2019 together. Um, thank you so much for all the support and everything you've done for the channel during 2018. So, thank you so much for watching, and have a great evening or morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Breathe in. Look into these eyes. Subscribe to the channel. Now. Exhale. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.